Pastor Gino, remember when we were in Washington, D.C. and we were praying? And we were out, up in the hotel room and I was sick that morning. Oh, yes, yes, yes. The enemy was trying to take my voice. I, I woke up that morning, me and Pastor Gino and G, Pastor Gino's wife, Carrie, and his w- daughter, Aria. Mm-hmm. I said, Pastor Gino, y'all need to come to my room right now. I said, bring me some tea, something. I said, I cannot talk. The enemy is trying to take my voice. And I was I was there to bring a word yeah. to Washington, D.C. And the enemy was, I couldn't, I woke up and I had no voice. And so they come up with a tea. They've got the tea. And Pastor Gino says, I'm laying hands on you right now. And he laid hands on, and I could feel the heat. And, I mean, my whole body started shaking. And I could feel the heat, and my voice came back. And that day, we went, and we prophesied, and we prayed. And the very next day, my voice was almost fully back, and I spoke on Capitol Hill, and I got to speak the prophetic word there in Washington, D.C., of the commanding the gates of righteousness, Psalm mm-hmm. 24, to open up over our nation. And you know what Psalm 24 is all about? And Pastor Gino, I want to encourage you. You have healing hands. You have the power of the Amen. Holy Spirit. When you laid hands on me that day to heal me and command my voice to come back, and I I felt that healing power working through you. So keep working on that because I know the Lord is giving you that. He's going to be giving that to all of us. We're coming into that time. Amen. Let me tell you about Washington, D.C., oh. Pastor Gina. Remember? Well, it was I, so super I remember natural. when we got there, before I forget, I remember when we got there, I take it, it might sound weird, but I take it as, as uh, a good sign. The demons started screaming. Mm. I remember that. And I, I take that as a good sign. As soon as we pulled in the parking garage, it was a demonic yeah, this, manifestation. Yeah. Yeah. Immediately. And, uh, yeah. We were, we were staying in um, Arlington and we got into the parking garage. And as soon as I, hit that button for it to come in. This screeching, demonic, remember? I remember. Ear-piercing, demonic, Uh screeching. Yeah. And what does that tell you, right? As we carry Christ Jesus, we're carrying a prophetic word. We're carrying the glory. Yes. Yes. And I, and I truly believe the demons are screaming and running away. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And I truly believe I truly believe that you have an anointing. I have an anointing. But when we operate together, it's more than double. <laughs> but yeah. me and it's, you and Carrie and your daughter oh, Aria, yeah. who's anointed. It's just and so powerful. Yeah. As soon as we got in that parking garage, I said, We gotta blow the shofar. And I have my shofar. And we, I mean, and I'm telling you, the rest of those demons scattered. But let me tell you something, y'all. When when the word that the Lord gave me, oh, well, first He gave me gave us a word. He gave us several words. You got to go back and watch that whole Washington oh, D.C. Wasn't the hotel split in half? The what? Wasn't it, it? It was a weird hotel. Wasn't it split in half? Like yeah, the hotel was split in half. Part of it you couldn't go to. So I don't know if it was yeah. secret service were there or what. The CIA was having a meeting in the there, basement there there of the is. hotel mm. when we got in there. Yeah. And God brought me and you all the way up to the top floor, giving us authority over that. It was so prophetic. Mm-hmm. He, he brought us to the top floor. We we had all authority, and we were commanding and, and, and uh, over that place. And then we weren't going to do a land assignment in Arlington, but that very morning— we got up when the Lord restored my voice and we did and we commanded the glory train of God. We was right next <laughs> to a railroad track yeah. to come yeah. driving into that place. But when we got the next day uh, over the um, the water, yeah, we prayed over the water and uh, the Lord had me command that the, that the head of the idols would come off. Right. He, he went to that scripture where. The the demonic god Dagon lost its head, lost its hand when the Ark of the Covenant came in with the blood of the Lamb, 
and that the demonic uh, entities would lose their head. Uh, and it was then when we got to the hill at Capitol Hill, he gave me Psalm 24. And you know what? I didn't realize. Jennifer, can you put the uh, beginning of Psalm 24 up where it says? Look, look uh, Lady Tex is feeling it. <laughs> I need the beginning of Psalm 24 because I've got something supernatural to speak. I didn't. I'm all about oh, opening up the gates of righteousness, but the beginning of Psalm 24 is about us ascending to the supernatural government heal of the Lord. Okay, so every so every land assignment that Pastor Gino has gone to to pray over the land since Las Vegas, the Lord said to him, let the winds blow, let the winds of change come, okay? All right. Every land assignment I've gone on, the Lord has said Psalm 24 command the gates of righteousness to open. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be lifted up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory will come in. Right? Is there a whoosh when those gates open? Absolutely. But when you read the beginning of Psalm 24, it just hit me. It says... Yeah, it, it hits you that way. It hits me the different way. You don't know it. But me and my wife, when we would pray for tongues for hours, we had this CD and there's this prophetic singer that would sing and she would sing Psalm 24. The earth is the Lord's. And it's, the fullness around. It's stuck in my head and it's there. It's, it's never going to leave. But the Lord gave me a new revelation on Psalm 24. Oh, great. Now I know why he's had me speaking it. Psalm 24, 1, 5. This is 2024, right? 2024. Mm -hmm. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. For he hath founded it upon the seas and established it upon the floods. Get ready for floods of truth. Floods of truth. Get ready. Who shall ascend to the hill of the Lord? Who shall stand in his holy place? He that hath clean hands and a pure heart, who hath not lifted up his soul unto vanity, nor sworn deceitfully, he shall receive the blessing from the Lord and the righteousness of the God of his salvation. I'm going to read this again. Who shall ascend to the hill of the Lord? Who shall stand in his holy place? We're talking about God is going to bring us up to higher levels of glory. Where these places, these realms, are so holy, so pure, so supernatural, okay, for God's, not just his righteousness and his government, but areas of prophetic, areas of healing. I'm telling you, the Lord is saying to us, Psalm 24 is a governmental scripture. Hear me out here, y'all. We are in 2024, okay? Uh, the Lord told me to proclaim this scripture over every single land assignment, and he told me to proclaim it at Capitol Hill in Washington, D.C. He said to me yesterday, Anna Marie, don't you understand what the beginning of that scripture is? I said, what, Lord? He said, who shall ascend to the hill of the Lord, and who shall ascend to his holy place? It is a governmental scripture. The hill of the Lord is the mountain of the Lord, the government of the Lord in the earth. Meaning, we are going to be raised up to levels where we will be doing things that are so holy, so supernatural. And it's through us seeking righteousness. So the more we seek righteousness, the more we seek righteousness, the more we say, Lord, create in us clean hands and a pure heart. We're going to levels of glory in the earth where we are going to be raised up, ascended up. And I'm talking about spiritually where we're going to be doing things in the spirit realm that Jesus said we would do. This is where we are going to be ascending into the government of God in the earth and bringing it to the earth. But we Anna must Marie, speak his righteousness. It is Anna an Marie, ascension did you, verse. 
do you realize what you're doing right now? I'm prophesying. Do you realize what you're doing right now? We're ascending to the hill of the Lord. <laughs> you're cheer, you're cheerleading. I my my spirit Woo! and I know everyone's spirit on this uh, chat is on fire right now. Come you on. are cheerleading and come on. Yes, yes, hallelujah. When it's I prophesied a... that with the shofar that day, I yeah. felt the power of the Holy Ghost, and He was saying, "Open the gates of righteousness." He has he said that to me so many times. You know why? Huh. Psalm 24 is a governmental verse for the kingdom of Almighty God. Come on. We have got to seek his righteousness. The more we seek his righteousness, the higher up he elevates us. I'm talking about in the earth. And and you know, we are we are transcending in the spirit realm to higher places to do the works of Jesus Christ. Is it connected to time travel? It is it connecting to transcending time? Is it connecting to seeing things in the spirit of the future? Is it connected? Absolutely. All the gifts that Jesus Christ have, we will have. How do we get them? Seeking his righteousness. Yes, and I'm I'm, I'm going to add to that, and I'm going to release this gold nugget right now. Coming up is, to the higher place. That is this. Come on. The word of God, the word of God, okay? The word of God, it transcends natural laws. That's right. It transcends natural laws. Hallelujah. Okay, we've been talking about the supernatural, what Jesus have done. We're going to do that and even more. Hallelujah. Remember that. Yes. And how do we get righteousness? We get righteousness through the word of God. We Amen. get righteousness through his word. Do we all want to operate in these gifts of the spirit and come up to the higher place, right? In spiritually, who shall ascend to the hill of the Lord? Who mm. shall stand in his holy place? I'm talking about in the earth, bringing the kingdom of God to the earth in us and through us. We must seek his righteousness. How do we seek his righteousness? Through his word, right? The, the Bible says we go from glory to glory to glory. And the breaker goes before us, breaking us through. King Jesus, it's 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 a government that is coming to earth through us, the saints. But it's us seeking this righteousness. I'm telling you, my friends, we are going to be standing on the hill of the Lord, and I'm talking about spiritually. Anna Marie, the Mount of Transfiguration type type things. You still got it. You still got it. That cheerleader in you, you still got it. Woo! Let's look, go, people. Look, if I had wings, I would fly right now. I would just fly right now. That's <laughs> my spirit is just, yeah, my goodness. Come on. But when he gave me that word about Psalm 24, now I realize why he's had me speak it so many times. He wants the desire in his people to seek this righteousness because he wants to raise us up higher to a higher level in the spirit. And I'm talking about, I'm not talking about, uh, you know, where you're going to be, you know, leaving your body and well, I, that stuff. I'm talking about physical boots on the ground, on the earth, walking in signs, wonders, miracles, fivefold ministries. I mean, doing the works of Jesus Christ. Now will, there, he, will he actually pick up your body and move it? Yeah. Now, there is a uh, prerequisite. Just so you guys know, there is a prerequisite. And in verse 6, it just says, This is a generation of those who diligently seek him Amen. and require him as their greatest need. Yes. Their greatest so we've got to need. constantly seek the Lord. Yes. It, yeah. it, it, we got to hunger for him. Yes, and this is it. being established. This is being established. We really have got to meditate on Psalm 24, there my you friends. Go. There you go. Speak it out. Uh, I blow my shofar when I speak that verse. Now I know why he had me. So even going all the way back to my first land assignment, Pastor Gino, mm -hmm. when I was when I was um on July 9th, July 9th. 2016, the Lord sent me up to Jamestown and Yorktown and spoke to me audibly. I remember telling my husband, honey, don't think I'm crazy, but God is talking to me. 
<laughs> yeah. then, you know, Big Mike, my husband, Big Mike, right? Yeah. I'm like, I go, we go into the church of Jamestown, right? <laughs> I don't know why the Lord said, just take a little staycation. Just go up to Jamestown. We did. Like I wasn't thinking anything. <laughs> yeah. July 9th. It's so hot. Okay. Yeah. I, we walk into this little church, old church in Jamestown. I walk in the doors and the spirit of the God of God comes upon me. Come on. And starts, he's, I hear the voice of the Lord audibly. And he says, Anna Marie, go up to the altar and kneel down. I have an assignment for you. And Amen. I look at Mike, there's, there's tourists all in there. <laughs> I, I just go, love that. Yeah. Honey, go, don't, don't think I'm crazy. <laughs> I love that. I know. Mike remembers that. I said, yeah. um, honey, I go, God is talking to me and I don't think I'm crazy. I said, but I got to go up there because we were going to turn around and walk out of the church. We, we saw, yeah. oh, yeah, walk out. And Mike was ready to go. And I'm like, hold on. I go, God's talking to me. Don't think I'm crazy. I got to go up here. Yeah. And he was like, what? <laughs> now, he, now he knows God talks to me all the time, right? But yeah. before he was like, yeah. And so I went up to that altar and I remember these beautiful tapestries of the Ten Commandments on both sides. This very old church in Jamestown, the first Jamestown settlement. And I knelt down at the altar and I said, Lord, I don't know what this assignment is. But I say yes. And he said, you say yes. I say wow. yes. I'm saying yes. Wow. And it, I, I walked out of that church. The power of the Holy Ghost was on me so strong. And, you never and I had lost all the charge in my phone because I had been taking a bunch of videos. Wow. I walked down the hill from that. This is out July 9th, 2016. I will never forget it. Wow. I walked down the hill. We were going to go back into the air conditioned museum. And there's this old giant chimney, antique chimney, brick chimney there. Looks like it had been the ruins of something. Okay. But it was this chimney was still standing. And it's starting to drizzle rain about five o'clock in the afternoon. And there's all these tourists in a big circle looking up at this chimney, the very, very top. And it starts to drizzle. And the Lord says to me, look up. And I stop and I look up. There is an American bald eagle's nest at the top of this chimney with a mother eagle with two baby birds. And she's spreading out her wings over these two babies. And I'm trying to get my phone to take a picture. No charge on the phone. Oh. And I, I hear the Lord say to me, Anna Marie, this assignment is about America. Now just do what I tell you to do. Then when I got home, oh, then I went into the gift shop and he told me to buy this. And uh, this is a century, a pressed glass century. And the Lord started teaching me about the century angels. And um, he said he is raising up, right, his, his, his guards, his intercessors, and to ask for the century angels. As soon as I got home, President Trump was running for president, and the Lord gave me my very first land assignment at uh, the first landing cross at Cape Henry, Virginia, here in Virginia Beach, Virginia. And do you know what the first scripture was that he told me to do? What? Psalm 24. Amen. Immediately. And that's and the main was... gateway to our nation. And then he took the land assignments. He's got y'all through this ministry. You started doing them. Then you went and did. I did the one on the East Coast cross. You went and yeah. did the one on the West Coast cross at San Diego. Yep. And then all of y'all now doing this everywhere. The sons and daughters of God have awakened. 